Hi, my name's David and this is NTI Online. Today we're going to be troubleshooting error code 605 and error code 602. Error code 602 indicates that the boiler flue gas temperature has exceeded the maximum safe temperature the boiler will allow. The flue gas temperature sensor is located in the top center of the boiler. It's connected with two brown wires. If you have an FTVN product, this sensor will be located in the flue pipe, which is typically on the right hand side of the appliance. The first thing you'll want to do when you get this error code is go in and check the temperature of the boiler. To do that, press and hold the menu button for five seconds. The menu will change to say info, and at that time, you can navigate up using the plus button to menu number 10, and you can see the current flue gas temperature. In this case, it's a reading of 229 Fahrenheit. What that means is, no matter how many times we press the reset button, the boiler will not reset the code because the flue gas temperature is out of range. You cannot reset this code until the temperature drops below 149 Fahrenheit. Once the boiler has dropped below 149 Fahrenheit, you can disconnect power. I'm going to repair my sensor by removing the component that I was using to cause it to go to an error code. We're going to turn the power back on. And once the boiler boots back up, I can now reset this error. It's very important anytime you get a 602 that you double check the flue gas temperature of the boiler using your flue gas analyzer in the test port. Measure the flue gas temperatures. A general rule of thumb is that your flue gas temperature should never exceed the return water plus about 20 Fahrenheit. So if your return is coming in at 160, we would never expect to see a flue gas temperature above 180. If the flue gas measures cold or cool with your flue gas analyzer, but the boiler is reporting a much higher temperature, that indicates the sensor is damaged or these wires have become wet or corroded in some way. Let's reset the error code. It did reset this time. I'm going to go in and double check my temperature reading on the boiler. And this time when we navigate up to menu number 10, we can see the flue gas temperature is 68, which in this case is accurate. If your flue gas temperature only gets hot while the boiler's running, it indicates in most cases that the combustion chamber has become very dirty or the refractory in the back of the chamber has become damaged. It's very important that you remove the door, inspect the refractory, refractory, replace any that is damaged, cracked, or in any way compromised, clean the combustion chamber, reassemble, and try again. Another cause of error code 602 could be air in the system. If you've got air in the system, you'll likely also get error codes 101, 102, 103, 4, or 5, and possibly 1P2, 1P1, and 1P3. All of these codes could indicate overheating of the boiler, so it's very important to make sure that your boiler is air-free, that you can see the blue light on the circulator turning on, and to verify that you have water flow. If you don't have flow or you have a boiler full of air, it is very likely that you will see 602 error codes, so you want to ensure that as well. Once you've verified that everything is okay with the boiler, there is no air, perhaps it's not genuinely overheating, the next step would be to test the sensor, and this also applies to error 605. To do this, grab your voltmeter, and you're going to want to set it to the ohms reading, and what I like to do is reach up, disconnect the plug from the sensor, and carefully test across the sensor for resistance. You can do this by touching one meter lead to each of the probes. Use care not to push too hard so you don't bend the wires and see what you get for a resistance reading. In this case, I get a reading of just shy of 12,000 ohms of resistance, which for a room that's about 68 degrees is about correct. The next thing would be to plug this sensor back in Come down to the main circuit board on the bottom left hand corner and remove the plug that is closest to the rear of the boiler. You'll know which one you're looking at because it has two blues, two reds, two browns, two grays, and it could have two or four black wires. 
The two you're concerned with are the two brown wires. To test this, stick one meter lead in each side of the connection and measure the reading that you get. If you get something other than the same reading you had up top, that would indicate that the wires are damaged or shorted in some way. Another check you can do to see if it's the wires or the sensor is to disconnect this harness and you should have a completely open circuit. You can then test from each wire to ground and verify that you have no resistance or no continuity at all, which would indicate, again, if you had a, a continuous contact between, for example, ground and one of these wires, it would indicate that you have a damaged harness and would need to replace this harness. Once you verify that the sensor is working correctly, the combustion chamber is clean, you can either replace the sensor or wire harness as needed, or fix the problem with the air and reassemble your boiler. Thank you for attending MTI Online. My name is David, and as always, if you have any questions, please contact our technical support department at 1-800-688-2575. Thanks again.